At the same time, the authorities said that they do not want conflict with Iran. President Joe Biden said in a statement on Wednesday that United States said that Pentagon was attacked by Iran-backed militants at least 13 times in the Middle East last week and maintained U.S. defense ability and did not exclude retaliation operations. Iran's highest leader referring journalists by referring to the journalists. Ayatollah warning. If they continue move against these troops, we will answer and be prepared. He said. Pentagon officials repeated this. We will always protect the natural right of defending yourself. And if there is an answer, if we choose to buy one, we'll do it at a time and place we've chosen. Brig. We are preparing for this rise in terms of defending our powers and decisively responding. There is a precedent for a potential military reaction in recent years. The U.S. has carried out retaliation airstrikes targeting Iran backed groups in Iraq after previous attacks on U.S. military bases. Men, hired by Houthi rebel during a tribal meeting in the capital Sanaa Kalashikov holding the attack. Rifles slogans. The 21st of September 2019. According to the Ministry of Health of Gaza, ruled by Hamas, more than 6,500 people were killed in Gaza. In midst of S. United States increased military assets Middle East support reaction of Israel Hamas. And as a deterrent other countries such as Iran and its deputies. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin said ABC on Sunday. He said, weak. Austin. This week Jonathan Carl. We are worried about potential rise. The U.S. Navy destroyer USS Kearney is sailing on the Bosphorus in Istanbul. Istanbul on the 14th of July 2019. Yorick Isik the USS Kearney. One of the American warships. Was launched by Iran-backed Houthis last week. And after passing the Red Sea. It reduced multiple missiles and unmanned air. Ryder said on Wednesday that missiles have ability to reach Israel. But U.S. did not conclude who target was. Two U.S. officials said that approximately 20 service members of ABC News have been subjected to minor injuries such as interruptions and tinnitus in 13 attacks of Iran-backed militias since October 17. According to the Pentagon, the attacks included one-way drone attacks and rocket launches. Before any potential retaliation movement, United States tried to disrupt fear that war of Israel Hamas could arise in a clime that has not been seen in Middle East. The U.S. does not want a conflict with Iran. We don't want this war to expand. Foreign Minister Antony Blinken said at a meeting of the U.N. Security Council on Tuesday.